everybody i tushar jain cfo and research head of ajay stromani guru and tushar global services.com welcome all of you today on 17th may 2023 in this episode we will discuss about some uh, major con news uh, about the international con futures so in the world of con futures to tuesday brought a significant decline of nearly 2% on the chicago board of trade that is the cbot and let's explore the factors behind this drop and what it means for the market the primary reason for the decline was the anticipation of a record large harvest in the united states along with a fast planting pace and favorable weather conditions these factors le- led to a decrease in cbot july corn contract settling at 5.81 dollar uh, 1 by 4 Uh, per bushel uh, marking a decrease of 11 to 1 fourth cents the corn market continued it, uh, its downtrend on tuesday with both july and december corn prices failing july corn even re- reached its lowest level since january 2022 this decline can be attributed to the favorable weather conditions during the plant and growing season which resulted in new crop prices hitting new lows the market's downward movement persisted due to lack of follow up buying after a one day reversal on friday US, the usda released a report revealing record production estimates for the 2023-24 season additionally the latest crop progress report confirmed a strong start to the new crop season with significant with 65% of the us crop already planted by sunday this figure surpasses the 10 year average of 63% turning our attention to international corn trade the european union has significantly increased its corn imports for the season starting on july 1st as of may 14th they have reached 23.6 million tons compared to 14.3 million tons during the same period last year traders are closely monitoring negotiation con- concerning the extension of a deal allowing the safe export of ukraine grains through the Be- uh, black sea the kremlin has expressed concerns about its grain and fertilizer exports and warned that it may withdraw from the agreement on may 18th uncertainties remain about uh, russia's participation in the black sea grain deal looking ahead the corn market may experience further corrections so looking ahead the corn market may experience some recovery from its lower level as currently it is uh, trading at around 575.12 dollars and if we see technically it is uh, near to its support zone only and it is uh, at its support zone which is an uh, which is somewhere at around 565 dollars which was also low made in july last year that is in july 2022 also there there are expectations that there will be potential failure of the ukrainian black sea green deal could provide some support to the market also it's important to note that the market has already taken into account the anticipated lower crops and export figures from ukraine for the upcoming season as corn futures face fluctuations driven by factors like record harvests weather conditions and international trade deals the market remain dynamic traders will continue to keep a watchful eye on the on these de- developments as they navigate the ever changing landscape of the corn market and as per our expectations and calculations the corn futures and the corn prices are expected to make a base and respect its current support levels and they are expected to show some recovery from the current levels also if we talk about the corn prices in the domestic markets in mumbai uh, in mumbai export 
yeah it was traded at traded at around 1975 rupees sangli uh, somewhere in the range of 2050 to 2125 shadri uh, in 20 2025 gokak 2040 and around india if we see uh, it traded near the 2000 level which are which can be considered a, as a good price and good support price for the days to come and especially for around one week so from the current levels the corn prices are expected to show some positive move you should consider this before tracking any trade also you should go through our standard disclaimer that all these information research and analysis are purely for research training and educational purposes we will not be responsible for any profits or losses if in case you take any trade and before taking any trade you should consult your financial advisor for more advanced analysis you can contact us for our paid services our contact details are given in the description as well as they are flashing on the screen so that's all for the today's episode i hope you liked our analysis thank you and good day